Hi, my name is Rafael Kevin Ainagal. You can call me Sir Kev. These series of video-based modules will be based on the topics under Earth and Life Science for Senior High School. Write your comments below for improvement. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and the notification button. Thank you. Life science deals mostly with the study of the earth, but we will learn later on that it isn't just the situation. Our first lesson for today is about the formation of the universe and the solar system. As we can see, the earth is a vast area if you look at it in our own perspective. However, it's just part of the universe itself. So, what is earth science? Earth science is a very broad topic. It encompasses all the sciences that seek to understand the earth and the earth's neighbors in space. And these neighbors include the other plan planets, the sun, the stars, the moons, the asteroids, comets, and other celestial bodies. Earth science includes the study of geology. Uh, basically, it's the study of the Earth. Also, oceanography, which deals with the study of oceans. Meteorology, which deals with the study of the atmosphere, as well as the weather. Finally, it also deals with the study of the entire universe, which is astronomy. The beginning of the universe can best be explained by several theories about its origins. Raya mga theories na ra, hay um, mga popular nga theories regarding the universe and its origins. However, um, I have only chosen five major theories to be discussed here. The first one is the Big Bang Theory. Dayang nga theory hay gin proposed ni George Lemaitre. Um, it is actually the most popular and widely accepted theory. Um, it was stated that 20 billion years ago, the universe started from compressed and condensed matter and energy, and that was in a hot, dense state. So when all of these compressed matter and, er and energy gathered together, um, it exploded like in a Big Bang. And well, the particles started to spread out. This is the beginning of the universe, according to the theory. So, it was illustrated like this one. The second theory is the steady state or the infinite universe theory, proposed by Hoyle, Gold, and Bundy. According to this one, the universe has no beginning and no end. So, it constantly expands continuously and constantly. So, it's like, it's also the theory about the multiple uh, universe or the multiverse theory. Like, there is one Earth from one universe and another Earth in another universe. So, it's constantly expanding and expanding. The third theory is the Big Crunch theory. This is the complete opposite of the Big Bang theory and was based on Einstein's theory of general relativity. Hambag sa rayo nga theory na ra, do Earth ko no naghalin sa the same thing, matter and energy. Um, however, instead of continuously expanding, it's continuously condensing. Um, it combines with each other, all the matter and the energy, until such time that there was a big crack. And out of that big crack, everything also seeped out and it became the universe as we know it. Kung the Big Bang nag-expand, the Big Crunch nag um, nag-condense ag nag um, collapse afterwards. Now this is it. This is in the, the illustration of the Big Crunch theory. The fourth theory is the pulsating universe theory. According to this theory, 
um, it's actually the combination of the Big Bang and the Big Crunch Theory. So, if we could have remembered, the Big Bang nag expand the Big Crunch nag compress So, it's a combination of both. It's like there is an instance of Big Bang, tapos may instance man it Big Crunch. So, to better illustrate, it's like this one. As you can see, may Big Bang, there's expansion, and then there's also contraction that results to Big Crunch. So, it's kind of a process, a continuous cyclic process. Finally, the most, uh, one of the most common among religious organizations is the divine command theory. The theory of creationism stated in the Bible, in the Genesis. According to this one, there is one almighty individual who created everything from the words from his mouth. So, it's like the words became a reality. So, for example, in that Genesis um, Bible, he stated that, Let there be light, and then light came in. So, this is the divine command theory. So, how was the earth formed? What are the circumstances associated with it? Now, most researchers concluded the Earth and the other planets form at essentially the same time, and it is discussed by the nebular hypothesis. Um, it states that the solar system evolved from an enormous rotating cloud called the solar nebulae.